Let's get it. Two things I want to talk about real quick. First thing I want to talk about is wind. Actual wind. What is wind? How is it that we can feel wind, hear wind, but yet we can't touch it, we can't grab it, we can't capture it? What is air? What is air and why can't we see it? We can clearly feel it and we know it's there, but why can't we see it? It's a force, some weird force, it's weird. It's almost like a God, huh? it's like a spirit. It's literally like a spirit, it's like a ghost. capture air? Can you put like air in a cage? A more of the story is what else is right in front of us that we can't see that we never learned about? How could 
could a non-black person be mad at a black community for having low test scores? How could a non-black person fault a kid for growing up in the hood, becoming a gang member, and ending up doing something that could ruin his life? For some odd reason, these same people who point the fingers somehow magically forgot that they are the people who created the problem. this shit amazing to me. I find it completely amazing that those people who created the problem are the people who point the finger the most. Another thing in the mix of all of this is religious segregation. All right. How come there's white churches and there's black churches and there's Chinese churches? Shouts out to my man, uh, Mr. Cash, and we talked about this today. How come there's different types of churches and why don't everybody go to the same church? Everybody prays the same God. talking about what's happening in the world. 
they never talking about what's really happening. Police shooting, like all, like if you was a non-black religious person, you would be in church asking God, God, can you please pray for these innocent black people who are getting killed by police and shit for no reason? God, could we please pray that black people receive equal rights? You should be paying for this shit. Like, this type of shit you should be praying for. Okay, please don't, please don't tell me that I'm taking anything out of context because I read at a level that you can't understand. I understand words at a level that you don't understand. So, before you say that I'm taking it out of context and slave back then don't mean the same as a slave do now okay okay but it still mean a slave it still means you must work for a nigga and you must fear a nigga from whooping your motherfucking ass if you don't get the job done servant slave maid they're all the same servant maid slave housekeeper nanny they're all the same all of them so inside this very book that we believe it in, it literally gives them the right to beat us. Literally. Inside this same book that is religious, it gives them the right to go, well, you know, God, like this is part of God's words. So we don't feel bad for treating anybody like this because it's in the book. about this and I think about I think about religion and I think about all of this shit and I really have to tell myself this why when you go into churches why like why when you go into churches it ain't no like Arabic people it ain't no like it is it ain't no Arabic people it ain't no Africans ain't no black ain't no nothing it's just like you know you go in one of the churches with the big windows and shit you just see like you see like Caucasian Roman looking niggas and I be like yo if this shit was in the Middle East and Jerusalem and Upper Africa and Egypt and shit like what are y'all talking about And this is where the problem kicks in at. This is where I say this shit is some other shit that we fight. Because the average person in church knows. No, like they know. Like you go to a non-black church. These niggas have to know that none of these people could have looked like this. None of these Moseses and none of them. They, they have to know that. Now, I know what y'all gonna say, well, they not black. Okay, I don't want them to be black. I don't want Moses to be black. I don't want Noah to be black. I don't want Job. I want, at least, at least make these niggas Middle Eastern. Jeez. At least. Church 
in America should have Middle Eastern niggas on the wall. At least. Did I say six of them? Caucasian, like, 
like a like, like I, I really need to know. Like, like, literally, tell me. Like, do you believe that? Cause, like, look. There's a big ass church in Orange County. It's like a fucking mega church, bro. So we, me and my boy Fly Kid Chris shot a music video there, right? So I'm walking through the church and I'm just seeing nice white family statues and I'm just like, so it's a picture of like a clean white boy on a horse. Like I'm talking about, he the nigga look like Goku on a horse, right? And the, the little caption said, Moses as he traveled, the, wait, how? Bro, this is a mega church in Orange County. How the fuck is that Moses? Bro. Bro, when I seen the little picture of Jesus and his family, I said, damn, bro. These niggas gotta be devil worshippers. They gotta be, bro. Like, this whole church is full of demons, right? It got, bro, it's you got to think about the lie. Like, if this is a, if this is a quote-unquote place that is of the Lord and you clearly lying. If this is a place of the Lord and you clearly lying, you got to be a devil. You got to be. Bruh, that ain't Jesus. That ain't Mary. That ain't, that ain't. Nigga, what's the what's the Jesus stepdaddy name? What was his name? The nigga that was with Mary before God slid her ass and been fucked. Six oh five north or something. We ain't making it. Like, my nigga, like, 